You comfortable? <laughs> now, they, they, I'm comfortable. Yeah, they, they, this, think so. You know what? They, I think this is genuinely the most topical podcast we've ever done, even though it's not actually topical of what's going on in the media, because we are literally recording this and then putting it straight, straight up. Straight out. And because it's Sunday and it should have gone out several hours ago. Yeah, we've we just... If I've had COVID and you've not been well. Either. I've had, I, well, I, I'm, I was convinced I had COVID because it was basically the same so, symptoms, yeah. but I'm negative, negative, negative. Basically, we've both been ill for two weeks. It's uh, funny that because most of your swabs always come back positive as well, don't they? <laughs> you can't prove that. Yeah. Not quite a while. Got... <laughs> so, so essentially, if you if you listen to this and you, you're a your regular podcast listener. That yeah, if you've you, been waiting just to click on it when it's been uploaded. Yeah. Why is it not on? It's ha- half past ten on Sunday is usually when it goes up. And now it is. It's ten to three. Right, so it's going to be like evening before this yeah. one. I've still got to export it and chop yeah, a few yeah. things off. So <clears throat> so no, 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 no edit points are going to be in this because it'll just delay the... Uh, so we'll have to make sure we behave ourselves. Yes. Okay. Let's, yes, definitely. Let's try that. No, no we, jokes. Right, we, so anyway, should we, should we get to the topic? Have we even told them what this is? <laughs> Oh, yeah, try me no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We never do that, do we? Oh. But hopefully they'd know that because they've clicked it. You've clicked it, it yeah. So, yes, try me mm-hmm. Um And a few people put a man, I mentioned it on the video that's gone out on Friday. And a few people there going, oh, I didn't know you had a podcast. I will. So, clearly the advertising in the videos works. Yeah, well, now you know. And if you're listening to this, got a seven, YouTube channel as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this is just, it's just, you know, this, this is why I don't think. It'd be fun being a full-time you, you social media person, whatever you want, because you have to hit your deadlines whether you're ill or not. Ill yeah, or not. Yeah, yeah. And basically, the two weeks we had in advance has just been wiped, wiped out, out with yeah. illness. So yeah, normally we've got a, a couple of uh, podcasts up his sleeve, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scheduled and it's ready. It's already up. It's just yeah. not released until Sunday. And I, I guess if yeah, that's what it's like being self-employed, isn't it? When 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 you, you're, really, when you're yeah. ill, you don't earn. Yeah. Uh, so God knows how people like Shmi and Co go on to do daily. Up- Daily videos for 10 years straight. Well, not full 10 years, but you know what I mean? For years and years, daily. We would have things to talk about after a while. I wonder if I wonder if sometimes he does two or three in one day. I think so, yeah. And then there's a day off. He must, he must do. do. There's no way he could do Well, with the amount of travelling he does. But yeah, you, you say, <laughs> doing daily videos, you run out of things to talk about. We do that on weekly podcasts. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, in fact... This one's a bit of a struggle. Well, yeah, I mean... We have some ideas sometimes, but it's like, oh, that's me. you can't talk about that for that long. Or it's something we've touched on Before. relatively recently. Yeah. But then that's kind of what people are talking about. But this is something we have mentioned in videos, certainly. And we yeah. have saw sort of mentioned it in past podcasts many moons ago in terms of getting into an evening. I think we've scratched it, haven't we? But we have, mm. what we haven't done is really drilled into this. Well, I'm getting fed up of it to a point. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd say I, me too as well. Yeah. S- size is not everything. No, no matter what I keep getting told. <laughs> it just isn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but no, it, it, it's about the size of... Well, we'll stick with EVs. Yeah. Well, just, just think, well, I think cars in general. It's the upsizing. Well, yeah, but it's not just like the Fiesta getting slightly bigger. With EVs especially, oh, well, EVs they're just especially. bringing yeah. out massive cars. So we, we point so, to the one This is the thing that sort of brought the topic yeah. on board, wasn't it? Uh, the, uh, well, it's a concept, but it's coming apparently in 2023 in the UK. The Kia EV9... Bear in mind, the EV6 was a big car. EV6 was slightly too big for most people in, in the UK. Deceptively large with its flared yeah. arches. It just... But the, the EV9 is, of course, even bigger than this. It's an SUV, which is some of which no, I'm not a fan of, yeah. most people know that. Um, but it's seven centimetres shy of five metres long. I mean, I'll be fair. I think we had a smaller minibus at school. I, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, this is what the, what I think would make it show up the most for me. It's over two it's metres wide. wide. Now, I've just done the quick measurements online, and it's two, sorry, four centimetres narrower. So it's slightly narrower yeah. than a full-on, full-size Range Rover. Wow. And that's and a big massive car. things, aren't they? So this Kia EV9, now it's also 1.8 metres tall nearly as well. So it, That's taller is... than me. <laughs> That's, that's tall. And uh, I've, I've had a look as well. So this is two, two, let's call it 206 centimetres wide. Yeah. The average, according to the RAC, the average UK parking space, mm-hmm. and I know they're not brilliant, but the no, average UK parking space is 2.4 metres wide. So, so you've got 20 centimetres either side to get out. Uh, well, that's what would you say, two, 205, yeah. so 240, so less, 35 centimetres. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, even if you said 20 centimetres either side, and that sounds like a lot, but that's not enough to open a door. 
You won't get your leg out of the door. Well, I think the fear with that is you pack your car, and this always happens in car parks, you pack yeah. your car where nobody else is, yeah. and you come back and there's two people parked either side of you, and you can't get in your car. Or there's two EV9s parked next to one and each other. Yeah, well, how would that <laughs> you, work? You couldn't get out, could you? Charging. You get four of them turning up to charge at the same time. Well, I'm getting... I'm, 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 They'd be all like this, good, dude, can you, can you, can you, <laughs> uh, I'd like to get out, please, and charge. So, so, I mean, it seems ridiculous saying that, well, we need to increase the size to, like, American level of parking spaces across the country to accommodate all the but cars. I, d- I, I was scratching my head here. Who... So they're, they're bringing... Right, who wants these bigger cars? That's the thing that I'm scratching my head with. You it's, know what it is? I think it's a case of... If you can afford... I mean, we don't know the price of this. I'm going to guess in the 50s because 50s it's based 60s, on the I same think, running yeah, gear yeah. as the EV6. So 50s, 60s upwards... I think it's, you know, it's like a Range Rover. Is it just if a If you can afford it, why not? Yeah, it, it's bigger, it's better. It's, it's like a, a a statement of, uh, of you know... It's, well, yeah, it's a statement, isn't it? I, I can afford this massive car. Uh, you think it's... it's uh, I, I think there's a bit of that, definitely. But there's also, I think, a case of people genuinely feel safer in a, in a tank, it, essentially. Um, I mean, it looks like... It's not got the badge, so you're not buying that for snobbery reasons. No, it's no. a Kia at the end of the day. Even, if, even a good Kia is still a Kia. It's got a look of a Hummer about it, though, hasn't it? It is massive. It is absolutely unnecessarily large for yeah. the UK, anyway. I mean, I mean gonna... it's got seven seats. We should, oh, oh, well, three rows. So I'm assuming seven seats. Seven seats. So, okay. All I wonder right. if the yeah. rear two can be taken up does, and down. But then and... why the width? Is that just for proportion? Or is it just an American car that just had to think, well, we'll no, bring to Europe? I, I, this is the thing, isn't it? I, I, think, I think nowadays, there's certainly more emphasis on the global car. Mm. But I wonder if it's more of a Chinese thing. Most of the cars nowadays, <coughs> China seems to be one of the, the larger markets. Well, it's a massive it? market. Well, we're tiny in comparison. Yeah, yeah well, the Europe, European market is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, even even bringing that... I mean, can you imagine that on the North Coast 500? It'd be... It'd be it, well, you, you, you know you'd what? struggle, I need to I need to see the... What's the size of a Transit van? Or oh, the width, at least. Ford Transit... You can always tell that we do this uh, off the fly, can't you? Because we were never prepared. Uh, overall width, 2.2. So it's 15. Seven. So it's about, yeah, about 15 centimetres wider uh, is a transit compared yeah. to the this EV9. <coughs> it's not a massive amount, is it? One's a commercial vehicle. Yeah, yeah, one is, yeah. I, you know, and, you can and move a house, house with one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and that, that was a, a normal, not, not, I mean, I think they're all the same width, but that, yeah, that yeah. was, a, you know, the... Uh, the long Standard, wheelbase transit. Yeah. So, basically, you're driving a van. Yeah. And I guarantee, if I said to Lorna, oh, could you just take that van to the tip or whatever? Yeah, I'm no, not I am driving that. that. Yeah. But then you're getting one of these. Oh, no, 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 it's not a problem. What do you think is with that, though? I think that the thing is with something that big, it's got massive wheels, you can just drive up the kerbs. Well, yeah. You know? Is it... I mean, I, I can I can just <coughs> see lots of them doing the school run. Well, this is the thing, isn't it? I can... You know, someone who buys a Range Rover... It's 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 a luxury vehicle. It's a statement. It's a proper yeah, off-roader. Yeah, yeah. It, it it's almost a little bit of a greed mentality. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's a statement. I've done rather well for myself. Yeah. Look what I'm driving. But then when you get what would call normally priced cars, I know no, that won't be cheap. But you know what I mean. When when you basically it's not it's not a statement of yeah, I've yeah. I've done well in life. It's just a massive vehicle. And but there's loads like that, isn't there? The <laughs> EV6, the Ionic Five. Yeah. It's the width. It, well, yeah, this is, is they're, they're very wide cars, aren't they? <coughs> really are. It's uh, they're deceptively wide as well. You look at them in the photographs, and they look like in proportion. Well, but you get up alongside them, and you're going, "Oh, this is this is really fact, you know." Big. I've, I've got you know one that's topical to the uh, channel after the April video. The, oh, the, the, the STO. Yeah, so the Lamborghini Huracan oh, Harkonnen. Like yeah, I, haven't, I haven't watched June yet either. <laughs> uh, Hurricane STO width. Do you think which is wider, the Kia EV9 or the STO? Do you think? You'd have to be the <coughs> Italian supercar. One th- uh, one point nine five, I'll call it. Wow. So it's so the EV9 is 10, 15 10, centimeters wider, wider than the Lamborghini Huracan, which means it will handle better. <laughs> <laughs> but that just shows you how big it is. Yeah, because the one thing people say about Lamborghinis oh, and Ferraris, oh, they're wide. Well, the thing is, yeah, the other people, you can't use them every day, can you? Because they're very wide and you yeah, can't yeah, manoeuvre yeah. them. Ironically, you probably can probably, now. Probably more manoeuvrable than that. And, and that's the thing, isn't it? It's not just... We're, not, we're picking the EV9 because it just happened to come out. Yeah. But we've got the EV... The Ford Mustang Mach-E, the only full electric vehicle from Ford, it's massive. The, yeah, yeah. The Kia e Nero 
is for me the, a, a, a I would say the Ian Neville is yeah the Ian Neville for me is probably as big as most people would yeah, ever need yeah. unless you've got two kids lots of kids yeah you get most stuff you need in the back of there I'd say the Ian Neville is probably the, like you said the most you're ever going to need in the car in terms of storage practicality yeah without without something unique yeah without <clears> needing seven seats so Think about everything that's come out recently. EV6, Ionic 5, that EV9, obviously, the Mustang Mach-E, the ID4. Enyaq. Skoda Enyaq. Yeah. Big cars. Um, what else has come out recently? I mean, I know the world's got a bit of a, a hard on for SUVs for some reason, but they're all. Yeah. I would say oversized. I, I mean, is, say, it just, is it just us? Well, look, it almost looks like what they've done <laughs> is that some guy's designed the car and then he's got the internship guy just to go and photocopy the blueprints mm-hmm. and the guys photocopy them but plus 25 yeah I mean the, the, the ID3 is, is is meant to be like a people's car yeah, 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 yeah. A, 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 like a golf and so that that for me I if quite like one. Right, 1. 1.8 metres so that doesn't seem too bad tell you what, what should we do, should we go let's go basic well, how, how wide is a Ford Focus standard Ford Focus uh, well a current one yeah uh, Ford Focus Width and and width is I think the most important factor because when you're driving along a narrow road or you're parking, girth matters more than length, does it not? I I, I believe so. Yes, uh, one point eight two five meters is a Ford Focus. Right, so we're saying that the Ford Focus and the ID three share a similar sort of width, just over one point eight. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's. So I mean, the EV nine being two hundred and five, so that's yeah, twenty yeah. centimeters wider. It doesn't sound a lot, is it? If you, if you, if you look it at it in your head, no, no, in your no, no. mind, and you're thinking, well, actually, that's not too bad. No, it's but, eight inches. But it, it is, though, it isn't is. it? Yeah. Well, I think when you're driving it, it, it <coughs> you, you, do, you do notice. You do notice the extra. I mean, the um, the Mustang in particular, that did feel like a, a big car, didn't it? I want to know how wide the Ford Escort I grew up in was. Was that a Mark III? Oh, well, we had most of them, to be honest. But uh, width, 1.68. Wow. So effectively, the current Ford Focus is not far off twenty centimeters wider than yeah, the Escort. The, yeah. So is this just a natural progression? I mean, where does it stop? I mean, this is the thing, isn't it? I know that people are getting bigger. I don't just mean fatter. I mean people are getting taller. The the uh, current generation is uh, is it current generation? Uh, average shoe size has gone up from uh, size eight to a ten in the male. So that must mean that other things have gone up accordingly. I'm talking, you know, the height of a person. Oh, I would mean like size of size of socks. Yes, yeah. there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's exactly right. So yeah. size of socks have gone up, shoes have gone up. But <laughs> so is, is it, are, is we, it, are we of a nation? You know, not of a nation, but are we, you know, globally getting taller? Is this a? You know, what I think it is for 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 UK people. I think it's more of like say we're getting worldwide cars here, than <laughs> than it's a case of the UK people are getting bigger. Or is it that you know we've, we've now with uh, globalization we can have fresh fruit and vegetables for most of the year round. <laughs> 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 well, yeah. <clears throat> I, 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 I think that's the thing, like you said, though. We are receiving cars that are, you know, would be America-only yeah. cars or China-only I mean, cars. Is this a safety thing? And I, I know when, when, like, you know, like side impact bars and airbags, they, they have to go somewhere. So they, they say, well, we're going to have to put What's them thing, you know, There has to be a reason for going up. Every generation of car, I mean, particularly more recently... You look at the car, and it is two hundred kilos heavier than the old one, <clears throat> consistently. It's like what, what, what extra is? I mean, is it sound deadening? Like you said, is it airbags? Well, you think that uh, you don't need airbags, do you? You think we'd have hit that kind of barrier of what more can we put in? Yeah, all the all, all the safety features, for example, of NCAPs. Yeah, yeah. Seem to be more um, low speed to avoid you low speed collision impact. Well, no, just like uh, technology. Yeah, yeah. You know, like uh, lane avoidance yeah, or, or you blind know, spot so you stay in your blind thing, spot yeah. sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> So you think, well, but like I said, they are, they are getting heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier. Electrics and then, in particular, are they? Because they're getting bigger. Because therefore of the they batteries. have more battery. Yeah, yeah. And then we've said this many times, haven't we? The, the, the diminishing that. return. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's not a good, good range, is that? We'll put more batteries in it then. Yeah, that Jeff, Jeff, we've got heavier. some more batteries. Yeah, yeah, but it's going to make it heavier. We'll just throw some more in as well. So the EV6, did we say what the weight was in that? I, is it two point? Wow. 2.2 two ton. Big. Well, 2,200 kilograms. Yeah. I mean, going back to the Ford Escort... That's, that's a heavy car. In fact, no, I would say that the EV6 is probably more of a... It's not a, it's not a Granada level. Mondeo. In terms Mondeo, of its internal Mondeo's space. No, what, 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 do you, what was the EV6? 
I would say the Escort was a smaller class than the EV6s. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it like, are we looking more like a... So 20 years ago, what would be the EV6? What would be the EV6? Ford, because they had the, the Sharon, didn't they? Or the Sharan. <laughs> the and Sharon. The, the, uh, the, the, the Mark One Mondeo. Estate. Uh, wait. So the EV6 was 2.2 tonnes, and the curb weight of a Mark One Mondeo is... That's wet and dry, I guess, isn't it? We'll put it, we'll put it in the middle. 1.3, call okay. it. 1.3 to 1.4. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, 1.3, 1.4. Wow, dry weight's 1.2. 1.23. Yeah. So, so effectively, <laughs> an EV6 compared to a Mark 1 Mondeo is a ton heavier. Yeah, yeah. And I know it's an electric vehicle, so that's going to factor in some things there. I guess it must be all sorts of you, you like. I mean, I guess. It's no. Well, it's nearly twice its weight. God, well, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be safety features. It's got to be the Mark One Monday is not How exactly safety a, features. Yeah, we'll just put a ton worth of safety features in. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to. Know. All right, then. What's the? What's what, your, what was the, what was the big car to the Monday? Is it Monday is no longer uh, sold? Is it? Well, the the last Monday or the current, if you will. Um, 1.7 to 1.8. 1.7 to 1.8. So, that so that's so that's a, a, a that, that just shows you the progression. That's a Mark Four Mondeo. Yeah. So it's gone up from what do you say, 1.3 ish to 1.8. So it's half a ton. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it, the, the car's going to be that much more bigger, isn't it? I, I guess you've you know, got a lot more of... metal in there for side impact protection. But then you think they go down the aluminium route, you know, all the technology, the, the weight saving technology. Remember when the Mazda... Well, it's Porsche that do that, isn't it? The Porsche charge yeah, yeah, yeah. extra for taking things out. I remember seeing an advert for the Mazda 2, which was basically based on the Fiesta. Wasn't yeah, yeah, yeah. It? And it said that they saved something like 90 kilograms, something ridiculous, by rewiring the car. So there wasn't, you know, so it went in a, uh, in a more Mazda direct... Mazda for you, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, because yeah. all that electrical wiring is heavy. Falls and backwards and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they the, the basically said, oh, they the redid it all and they saved a ton of weight just yeah. Now, some guy with OCD on the weekend it has to stay at this <laughs> but that's the thing isn't it? that seems to have completely stopped do you know like, no, no one with the EV6 has said right this weighs 2.4 ton here yeah, yeah. tell you what if we do this do that we can get it down to 2.2 I just don't think the, the, it's bo the bothered anymore is there going to be a point where you, you, you go to get a car and it weighs that much that you can't drive it on your current licence <laughs> you know that that is something that, uh, do kind we have of that seats didn't we have that with the ID4? It can only carry so many people on the bigger battery version because of the weight. Oh, something to do with, with, uh, yeah, weight? I don't know if that was ultimately true. Someone said that the middle seat of the back bench of the ID3. Yeah, was it really? Um, was you know it, 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 you couldn't sit in it. It was mm -hmm. effectively a four seater car, and someone said, oh, they were convinced it was because with four people in it, the car would weigh too much. But I don't think I think that was disproven however i have seen an awful lot online about people saying hang on a minute hang on a minute i've got a, a polestar 2 yeah a 2.4 ton yep wow that can tow well yeah they so if you're over the, the i mean what's the maximum towing is it is it 1200 foot 1300 of the polestar 2 let me check i'm not too sure what's the maximum weight of vehicle you can drive three and a half ton isn't it three and a half on ton a standard before you so I mean, we're only like two generations of car before it's <laughs> one point five tons. The Polestar can wow. So it we, 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 <laughs> so if that's maximum over. towing, yeah, that is effectively a three point nine ton combined weight. Wow, or possibly combined weight. That, I mean, that and just... that's not including three or four people. I'm guessing. Yeah. So you'd be over uh, 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 and, and legally, you couldn't drive yeah. it without the uh, the the, the yeah, HGV, extra license yeah. thing. That's gonna. And that's wow. a car. How many people could potentially get caught out on that? That's one? Over, that'd be over, over four ton with people. Yeah, four ton. Four. That's a lot of weight. Yeah, and that's yeah. That, that, I mean, that's something in, we. In use. my mind, that's that's four it's four small cars. I've always got you know you always think oh small car about a ton, and that's probably you know, obviously changed. But yeah, I mean it's three, three normal sized cars. I mean one point five ton plus the two point four of the car, and that's just a car. It's not. It's not like it's a. Uh, you know, sort of like a like a big Volvo. That's, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Someone's it, it, that is something that. Well, it it proves the point that we're trying to make here. How many how many cars out there in the electric car world are what we call a nice little hatch, little small hatch? There's not many. Is there? You've got the Stellantis yeah, group stuff. Yeah, yeah. Which I mean, for me, they Corsas, two hundred eight, yeah, nail on the head. Those aren't they? You know, get mm. let's get EVs to as many people as possible. Yep. 
Um, the Eop. E- Eop but she that, can't really get eighteen months. Is that at the moment? A year, well, well, month? Yeah. So even if you forget availability, there's so few. I mean, that's why I I think we like the Fiat Five Hundred E. So I've seen a couple of them on the road uh, mm. in that lovely ocean greeny colour yeah, yeah, yeah. changes colour. And I thought, yeah, I've seen a couple go past and I was like, oh, it does look nice. And it's the a bit, bath version of it. It's a bit more it. chunky as well, isn't it, than the, yeah, uh, yeah. the standard one. And I know it's a bigger than the <laughs> Fiat 500. Getting bigger. <laughs> yeah, it's bigger than Fiat 500. I will be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, side by side, certainly. I mean, I can understand. It felt small though in today's <clears throat> world, didn't it, that? Well, yeah, I mean, th- this is the thing. It's, people say, well, they've got to accommodate all the batteries. But the Fiat 500 no, no. was incredibly efficient. Didn't we get? Uh, it was about five miles. Four point three or four. 4. We, weren't, we weren't really trying. No, we were. We were. We were just. We were just messing about in it, weren't we, Marvin? Mm. But this is the thing. We, is it? Is it just this? We can only. We we only got so much resources to build cars. We have so many batteries, so therefore build the big stuff. I think yeah, that's it, isn't it? I think given the the world shortage of chips and wiring harnesses and stuff like that, do we Cost make of lithium? Yeah, do we make two cars that are cheaper but don't make us as much profit? Or do we throw all yeah. of his money into making if, high yeah, yeah. profit vehicles? If you can make one car that gives you the same profit of two smaller yeah. cars, just a bit more metal like, in it. We'll just do because we only have to sell one instead of two. Yeah, all of it, you know, I, I'm, I'm almost certain a larger car is, is isn't going to take twice as many chips and wiring as to make two. You no, know. nah. but this is this is. I mean, I'm trying to think of what's coming up in the next couple of years that we know of in EV world that's cheap and cheerful. And, and well, not necessarily just cheap, just not yeah. massive. Well, it's, 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 I'll tell you what, do you remember that little, was it a little French car we saw at um, Goodwood? Was it French oh, the thing we've heard nothing, nothing about. about since. Mm. Not for the chest, that one up. Cause that it was looked, German, I think, actually. It was German. Uh, little hot hatchy thing, wasn't it? Um, mm. I think this, if you if you looked on the, your oh, channel on for Goodwood yeah, last yeah, year, yeah. Go it'll be that. on there. But yeah, that that was the... But that wasn't a man, main manufacturer. That no, no. Niche, uh, that so. was a whole of... Was it last year was Electric Avenue? It was, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. That was the only thing on there, wasn't it? Really, mm. that was small. I'm trying to think of what's coming up. I mean, we've got the the Renault Five uh, kind of EV equipment, but that's not 2024. I think yeah. that's not due till. I, it's that thing. Of, I always think when it's due out, it's actually when you've seen it photographed. Yeah, yeah. Even if it's got like a disguise on it or something like that, it's 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 coming out then, isn't it? I mean, we can't really count stuff like the the Abarth 500 because that's just an adapted Fiat 500 that's already out. But in terms of all the stuff that manufacturers are bringing out. Not they're all like EV nines, EV six, yeah, the yeah. Ionic five, the Genesis. We look at even the 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 entry level into the EV world, and you know the ID three, and you just can't get one. No, you know because they're still doing the two flavors only on their configurator. Uh, I think it's down to one. Is it one now? Wow. But you can still get with reasonable availability your Corsas, your two hundred eight. Because so at the time, I remember, I remember being there in the south of France, really? talking to uh, the one of the head uh, Mr. Peugeot. Yeah, oh, sorry. basically, <laughs> Mr. Peugeot. Mr. Peugeot. Yeah. Uh, well, is it, yeah, I, guess, I think it was Peugeot. Yeah, it was for the two thousand and eight, yeah. and he said that basically they'll build them in the same factory alongside. So if demand for electric increases and petrol goes down, they just tweak the, the factory yeah, the essentially. Yeah. They just go, oh, we'll do that, you know, rather than, yeah, yeah. you know, the ID3 is building its own factory. This yeah, is, yeah, 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 yeah. They've just gone, we'll, we'll just make electric versions. Let's go back to thing. basics here. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's retool. And it's clearly worked because yeah. A, availability is, I won't say brilliant, but you can get one within six months. Easy. Well, yeah, yeah. Probably sooner. They're still, they're still relatively cheap. Occasionally, there's still a deal to be had, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah. place at the right time with them. I reckon you could get a, a Corsa E for like twenty three grand at the moment if you if you shopped around brand new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, and, well, Auto Trader um, pre registered ones going for about that. It's a, it's, mm. it's a basic spec, but hey oh. <laughs> well, that's it. I think the, that that's maybe that's why we like the E up so much. It just felt like a car rather than a, a spaceship. Yeah. And that's what they I mean. Good old fashioned fun, wasn't it? Yeah, as, as good as the EV6 and Ionic 5s and Tesla Model 3s and Ys and all the other stuff that have, have been on all the channels recently, sometimes you just want beans on beans toast. Beans on toast, toast yeah. We go back to just beans on toast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's true, isn't it? It's like I, I just want to, I want to feel like I'm driving the car rather than the other way around. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. But egg, egg chips and beans. Yeah, that's all I, I want. I, I'm trying to think of everything coming out. I can't think of a single one that's a small car. No, no, no. Every, everything is I think it's that thing isn't it if when you haven't got much that you can sell because you haven't got much to build is you just build the stuff that's <coughs> going to bring you the most profit in and obviously it's the bigger cars with the higher price tags so is this going to have a knock on effect second hand prices are going to go for the roof but if, if everything coming out is essentially just large and for family people yeah and expensive versions of it 
Is this going to delay the ban on petrol cars? Even though we're, what, seven and a bit years off the non-hybrid and then another, well, 13 years off the hybrid. I would think it's like they're not making enough. No, I, I, it might be one of those things where we get to within a year of it and they say, we'll give you another year. Well, we'll yeah, considering the fact that even if in, let's say, 10 years' time, you've got small EVs coming out in each place, the used market is still going to be... I mean, well, look, look what can we you at, get in a small car now? When we were at BMW, weren't we, a couple of weeks ago, um, and the salesman there... It, it, we were chatting to him just a bit, and it, more or less, BMW, the, the garage with all the vehicles there, it was more or less like an art gallery, wasn't it? You could you could have a look, but it, they weren't really for sale. Yeah. You know? so we, we can't get that's any. That's the last one in the in the whole, yeah. deal, not just the dealership, the group. The group, yeah, in one series, that wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, our demo, we can't sell can't it. Sell it anymore. Yeah, anymore, yeah. So, <clears throat> uh, and he was saying that, the in his opinion, that the second-hand market is just going to go through the roof, because no one's buying any new cars, because you realistically can't do unless you're going oh, yeah, to wait a year and a half. Yeah. So everyone's buying second hand, which just, you know, if there if isn't this this flood of cars going into the market all well, that's the time. what you need, isn't it? A flood of cars. Yeah. Which so there are too many on the market and therefore the yeah. price drops. But considering we're waiting so long for every vehicle to be bought new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are just going, I'll just buy six month old instead. I'll so buy the, a year the, old. the used market isn't even going to think about kind of coming back to a slightly more normal level for what, a minimum of two years from now? I would say at least. Because you've got a year until a car comes out yeah. and then you've got to wait for them to hit the market. It, it becomes like um, any any sort of shortage. <laughs> you know, there's, is, if there's a chip shortage, you can guarantee that manufacturers aren't going to go back to buying, let's say, one million chips in a go because that's what they usually get. Mm. They'll be going for one and a half because what happens if they get some... Just to make sure we've got yeah. enough in the back. If, oh, it's, it's the toilet roll thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, toilet rolls looks like they're going short on toilet rolls. I'll buy loads. Buy loads, yeah. And that yeah. in itself causes the problem. At least I'll die with a clean bum. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I never understood that COVID toilet roll thing. Why, you know, it's not as if something you can't get around. I know, when, when COVID first came out and you saw... What, when COVID what, what first was, came out, it's like yeah, a film. Yeah, the first, <laughs> the first lockdown. That was The first lockdown was the best one. It was like, you know... <laughs> But yeah, I remember that. You're thinking the COVID is going to kill everybody. Um, mm. And everyone buying toilet paper. And I'm like, well, if I die of COVID, the last thing I'm going to be worried about is if I've got a clean ass or not. <laughs> yeah. So it's disgusting. He's died from COVID, but he wasn't able to manage but to wipe it, himself. It still didn't make sense to me because you didn't get surely if you, were, if you were going to, well, no, but if you were going to hoard something, it'd be food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah genuinely yeah. important. It, it, I'll it, trade you his pack of four toilet paper for some groceries. <laughs> But uh, no, no, I think we got off a little bit off topic there, as usual, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is good. Um, <clears throat> no, I, I mean, let's it, imagine. It would be I nice, would... wouldn't it? I think let's, for the manufacturers to go. We, we've, we, we, what we would like to do is get a lot of people, produce yeah, something. a lot of people out of uh, of, uh, of petrol cars. And you look at the, I mean, the amount of cars that pass me on a day to day basis all seem to be Fiat five hundreds, Fiestas. Yeah. There's more Small of those patches. sorts of cars than there are Corsas. Yep. So you think that. To put, you know, from a, a green point of view, view yeah, yeah. to get as many cheap vehicles on the road as possible, to get as many people out of mm -hmm. them, rather than just replace the big ones. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know it's been touted for a while, uh, and it, I'm sure it'll happen at some point, the, the, the Tesla model, I'll call it the two. Yeah. So I'm presumably the smallest Tesla they're going to do. I mean, I think we're years away. But I think they're going to wait until battery technology changes there, just so they can squeeze in. Because well, they're going to want to get 200 miles out of it. Yeah, even if you don't. It's that sort of thing yeah. that is waiting on true mass adoption of EVs. Yeah, exactly. It's like, say, if, if we wanted to, I don't know, like, I don't know, we've had the Mini for six and a bit years, I'm going to change it for a full electric car. Yeah. But it's a second car, don't need to, you know, they don't need the range, blah, blah, blah. Honda E. There's not many options. Honda E, Mini, <coughs> Fiat 500. Yeah. And then you've got the small Volkswagens, uh, see it. Me. Yeah, the ups yeah, and that. Yeah, yeah. So the, the, there's some options. You've got the courses and stuff like that. But there's nothing cars. new coming out. No, no, this is it, isn't it? It's, there needs to be, for me, there needs to be more around the, the lower Fiesta. 20. How are Ford not? I mean, as far as I understood it. They've been the same they were, for the wheel yeah. for like four or five years. As far as I understood it, Ford were going to use the ID architecture. You know, yeah, because you know, oh, they share van components. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, Volkswagen get the van stuff from Ford. And yeah, it was going. I remember re reading about that when the before the much platform, came in. isn't it? If you, if you yeah. get a better investment, better technology, exactly. it's cheaper for everybody. There's not even an inkling of anything coming out from Ford. There's lots of hybrid stuff, but there's no EVs out there. What's going to happen to Ford? I mean, they're doing this, they're doing some plug-in hybrid stuff, aren't they? But not 
it's not. I don't know. And guess what? BMW and Toyota have just announced. They're, they're, they're doubling down on petrol manufacturing engines. All right. Because they're not convinced yet. I mean, I can understand Toyota doing that. But for, uh, BMW said we're not, we're not going to drop petrol engine production uh, for a while because we're not convinced that I we think, well, meet the uh, EV, you know. Uh, well, I don't think we're going to meet... <clears throat> yeah, but if, if they don't think they're going to... The government's going to meet that target. Well, it's a European uh, sort of I do uh, wonder, view for them, isn't it? I do wonder as well with... Whether we're going to, I don't know, we're making this up as I'm going along, <laughs> whether we're going to get to a point where um, components for electric cars are a lot harder to get hold of, especially batteries and stuff like that. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I mean, the best selling two, two top two best selling cars of oh, the squad were both electric. Oh, yeah, yeah. But ironically, both Teslas as well. Um, but It's crazy when you think, isn't it? And none of them under 40 grand. No. It's. And I, I guess when you factor in. That Ford, you know, who sell a ton of, of, yeah, of cars yeah. in the UK, haven't even started. What do you think? It's because Ford, Ford's main market has always been America, hasn't it? it yeah, I is think it, Ford Europe's big, but is it, yeah. Is it, is it that, I mean, I'm saying that though, the, uh, America's really taken on like Tesla, aren't they? But I guess there's always always that petrol sort of thing in America, isn't there? Yeah, but size is irrelevant out there in terms of the, the parking just, and stuff yeah. like that. It's not a problem for them. <clears throat> People don't live on terraced streets or anything like no, that. No, no. I wonder if it's well, yeah, whether far just just seeing what, what's going to happen. There's no, there's no full electric vehicles in America either, though. Other than well, they got, there's, you know what? There's not even any like mule photographs of one. No, no, that's what I mean. There's nothing, nothing is coming out. It's not like you know, sometimes you'll see um, a vehicle and it's, it's it's wrapped in bandages. It almost looks, doesn't it? And it's a mule for something. Well, we know that the, the Renault Five, which is replacing the Zoe in, a, I think again, twenty twenty four ish. Yeah, maybe yeah. twenty five. Who knows? We saw that a year ago. Yeah, yeah, that's happening, isn't that's it? That's how quick these spy shots come out. Yeah, yeah. That's it's, it's the drip feeding that the manufacturers do. Oh, oh, yeah, I wonder yeah, if people yeah. are like this. Oh, yes, yeah. they do. Let's let's build up for two or three years. Yeah. They've learned from Tesla, clearly. Yeah. There's Nothing just silence thought. from Ford. Yeah. And you're thinking, well, I don't believe that it's a manufacturing issue because Vauxhall, Everybody. Peugeot, Citroen, they've all done it. Yeah, uh, amazingly well. It's the Stellantis group have, have, have clearly had a vision. And... I remember, you know, yeah, Clang, Bill Ford himself, when I was chatting to him, you know, Good on that Bill. trip I never talk about. No, no, no. Um, they said that they were, they, they called the Mustang Mackie the Mustang because they wanted people to know they're taking electric vehicles very seriously. Yeah. To give it that name and is then a big everyone, statement. And then everyone drove them and realised that they weren't taking it seriously. No. <laughs> but even if it was brilliant, they're clearly not taking EV seriously because they've done nothing it's since. Sense. Bear in mind that they announced that, I think, in 2018. Do you know what? It's not even like they've gone. What we've got here is a floor plan. Yeah. Uh, why don't we just chop it up a bit? Why don't we do a pickup truck? Why don't we do something... Because they do the... Uh, that, uh, uh, is it the Ford Ranger? Uh, yeah, yeah. So why don't they do... They actually, no, they're doing the Ford F-150 electric in America, aren't they? Are they? Uh, is yeah, that yeah, using yeah, the... Yeah, uh, that's coming out soon. And that'll be using the same Ooh, gear? I don't know, actually. I can't believe it. You know, it's because it's, it's not coming out uh, over, over here. here. That I've... Uh, not, I've kind of forgotten about it. It's coming out this year. The F-150 is the thing that looks like it's about the same size of an intercity train, isn't it? It's a big one, and it's the one that... Is, is that am I right in thinking here that it's the one that doesn't have to correspond to safety things because it's a truck, it's not a car? Mother. That's why it's so cheap to make. Ah, And make right. bin lids and things like that. Yeah. You know, the interior goes... Dang, dang. <laughs> yeah. So it's an electric version of that, and it might be really good, I don't know. It, you know, it can tone things Four like Four seconds that. to 60. Well, that's important. Because um, when you've got something that's that size, you want to get to 60 as quickly as you can. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's got a little bit of information just a bit further down. There you go. So you get available mileage. So, EPA estimated range 179 miles. It'll tow, what? Okay. Mm -hmm. It'll tow about a ton. Yeah. Maximum towing capacity, 10,000 pounds, whatever that is, is in, uh, in our language. Uh, and you know, it's probably, even if you said that's going to be really good. It's an electric F-150. Look how much else. It's 563 horsepower. 775 pound foot of torque. A thousand, yeah, over a thousand newton. It's torque. essentially competing with... In the fact, yeah, Tesla. In fact, look at the screen. <clears throat> it's straight out of the Mackie, is that one. Um, it's competing with the Tesla. Yeah. But again, massive car. American market, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's I not think, coming over no, here. No, no, no. I think the thing with that is that, <clears throat> that that's that's Ford's probably bread and butter in America, isn't it? I think it's the biggest selling car, isn't it, or something in, in America, but... Either way, they've, 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 well, let's stick it with the UK. 
Other than the, I, I'm genuinely struggling in my head, and I've been thinking about it for the last ten minutes. Other than the Renault Five, I can't think of a small. It, not and it's not even a small car. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a, a, a normal hatchback, should we say? Then they need nothing to, coming out, which means for the next three years. Yeah, there's, there's not going to be a surprise, yeah, is yeah. there? Oh, look, oh, oh we're bringing this electric out. Fiesta. We're yeah, just, we're just hiding this. Coming out next year. It's, uh, so, but the world, I think the world, and, and especially this country, is crying out for a, a, a Fiesta. If, is it, is it just we're too small? But the whole of Europe likes small cars. Yeah, which is why French uh, manufacturers are building them. Yeah, because yeah, they're listening to the, the Zoe. Rest of Europe. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> 2024 Renault 5 electric car, and I have to say it looks phenomenal. Around seventeen and a half thousand pounds. It does look amazing, doesn't it? In that yellow as well. Yeah. Actually, there is a car that's coming out next year that we've forgotten about oh, in terms it? of small hatchback, and I believe smaller than the current version. Oh, a mini. mini mini electric. Yeah. And a ground up mini electric. Yeah. Fire. Yeah, yeah. But that's going to be over yeah. thirty grand. I reckon. Yeah. yeah you, the thing is, with, no, it's a premium car, but yeah. you don't get a cheap mini nowadays, do you? <laughs> no. But that that is like, I mean, meant to be. That looks amazing, doesn't it? And of course, there's the cars that aren't coming out in the UK, like that Dacia Spring. Oh, is that the because they can't get a right-hand drive, can they? Oh, they just don't want to bring. I don't know. There's got to be numbers, hasn't it? Yeah. Cause you got they got to tool up for a right-hand drive. I guarantee that'd sell a ton. Yeah. Well, yeah. But maybe they can't make a ton because of the current restrictions. Yeah. I mean, these are things that well, we'll never can... know about. I suppose, isn't it? We we're just guessing. The MG. You think that they could bring? Like, is it an MG three must be on the way. MG three, I think they call it uh, electric yeah. car. Because if it's in, it'll be in uh, uh, China already, probably. Um, here we go. MG teases all new MG EG, all new MG three EV. Too many with the letters. Um, late twenty twenty two launch potentially. Wow. And the MG four as well. Between and up to hundred and what two hundred, two hundred miles. Wow. Well, the M- like this, this is for the MG4. Ah, right, 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 right. So, same underpinnings as the MG ZS. Right, okay. So, all oh, right. So ah, this is a four, not so the three. So, it's the MG4, not the MG3. So, why, why is the title say MG3? Ah, okay. So, how how big's the four, then? I don't think I've seen the MG4. I reckon that's just going to be... Golf-sized. A, uh, it's probably going to be a smaller MG5 ZS, so a long length. Uh, Almost identical length to the ZS. Right, so it's not a small... It's not a massive car, is it? It's not a small car. Uh, 4.3 metres in length. The new MG3 EV could accept the same battery as the ZS. I think they've changed the... They keep on calling it the MG3, then the MG4. Is it like it's been put through Google Translate? Yeah. This is electrifying as well, isn't it? <coughs> Never mind. But I can believe... Oh, here we go. 2023 electric hatchback to rival the Corsari. You know what? There is one thing that we've forgotten which hopefully I'll be getting in the not-too-distant future, the Aura Cat. Oh, right, OK. And again, another Chinese car. Ooh. Remember that one that we got invited to? But yeah. We it was just yeah, a look around, but yeah. we couldn't do it because we were What's somewhere that? else. I can't remember where else. Yeah. Um, that's coming again, I think, this year. Ooh, I like that. It's almost got a Porsche front end. Yeah, it's clearly not uh, <laughs> got, you know, taken any, like, like mini... No, <laughs> so no, it no, looks... No, no. They haven't done any... They haven't no. gone to the, the paint office in China and gone, oh, that looks nice. <laughs> Um, Look at the wish, haven't they? Mm. But at the moment, this is why I'm thinking: family cars, small cars, good price. Yeah, they're all Chinese. Well, they are. Yeah, yeah. Apart from a couple of exceptions here and there. Well, so it's like if anyone goes, "Ah, oh, I've got a family and I just want a car that'll do around two hundred miles." Right. So it's, you basically want an MG. Yeah, because there's no other Nothing else. Yeah. Unless you're spending thirty-five grand. Oh, I do like that. <clears throat> The Aura Cat. Yeah. And they do, they're going to do a... I don't think it's going to be any quicker. They're going to do like a... I can't remember, not the GTI equivalent, but something to that effect. That's nice, is that? After the Again, it's just going to be... I wonder what... It's like 25 reliability, reliability and also uh, dealer network. I guess there's that, isn't there? Um, they reckon 25 grand-ish. I think that's the thing, isn't it? You look it at... came out in 2018. So it's a proven it? model in wow. China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's a, you know, they're obviously just It'll European tweaked and so, yeah, and all yeah. sorts, yeah. <clears throat> well, that's not bad at all, is it, really? That's, I mean, that's, that's more of what we need. 63 kilowatt hour batch pack. Really? Um, How big is it? Is it a car? It and the 58 tiny. as well. Uh, no, I think it's meant to rival the ID3. In terms of size? Possibly. Not to 13, 3.8. 
Well, that's reasonably quick. Three point? No, that's not. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not to thirty. Three point eight seconds. Uh, not not to a hundred. Yeah, four point two three meters long. Yes. Yeah, so, Eighteen. Well, it's long. no different from the MG. It's close dimensional match to the ID three then. Yeah. But that 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 for me is is what we're crying out for over here. Yeah. But again, again, if we, go, if we could circle it back to the what we originally said at the start of this podcast, I'm sick. In some weird way, because it's nice driving nice things, and we're off to Germany in a few weeks to drive yeah. another one. Another really nice thing. Yeah, but I just want the basics now. I'm sick to death of everything being an Ionic Five. Yeah, yeah. I think it was, was as good as the car is. It, it was when we had the. Uh, it was the Skoda uh, City Go, wasn't it? Yes. And when we had that. It was almost like, do you know when you've gone out for a meal and you, you have something that's really rich, but in between... No, it's when you've been on holiday for a week. You want beans on toast. Hey? You want your beans on toast. Yeah. I've, 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 it's, like, it's almost like a, a palate cleanser. Mm. You can't get some food that's really rich. You're going, oh, I just want something just to take that taste out of my mouth. Bit of palate, sorbet. Yeah, a bit of sorbet. That, that, <laughs> the, that was the sorbet. It was like, it was so refreshing. Yeah. Because it's like, wow, you don't need to have all these gadgets, all these no. toys. It's got seats. I mean, it even had uh, the, the colour of the, the outside of the car on the inside. Body colour yeah. paintwork on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Why, why even put trim on there? Just have some steel. I mean, I know it's not unique to the E-Up. It's on the, the Up in general. But one thing that I'm like, that's genius, is that the, you put your mobile phone on that holder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It linked with the car and give you all like the range yeah. information and everything. So they thought, we won't put a screen on this thing. Because it'll we'll make you use the one that everyone keeps <laughs> in their pocket. Well, yeah, that's a so fantastic that's a idea. genius idea, is that one... Yeah. I think on something of, of that <coughs> level, it's, it's 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 more than fine, isn't it? Yeah, and I would one hundred percent own one. Yeah. In fact, if you could buy one in the next two or three months new, you probably. Would I, buy I would that. have had one. Yeah. If I could have got, if I could have ordered one new, uh, we'd look on Drive the Deal, and there's some that I well, there was some of really, really good price. Yeah, yeah. I would have ordered it, picked it up, and I'd be driving one. Yep. It was just the fact that they had to wait twelve months, and then rumours of eighteen. Yeah, yeah, minimum twelve months. I mean, it's one of the things where you go. I mean. Do you, do you put your name down, your deposit, and then just go, well, if I pick it up, I can flip it if needs be. Yeah, it's worst case scenario, isn't it? Yeah. You can sell it if you don't like it. I just but... wish I had more money, because I'd do that. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I had the ability to do that, I probably would do. Uh, but it, it's, a, it's a shame, isn't it, when it's such, such a, a car with, you know, with a, I think it was, tw- was it 21 or 22 from Drive for Deal? Uh, no, originally, was if we go back that? two or three years, oh, you, you get, get for about 18 grand. Yeah. I mean, God, and they're going that. for 23 now, yeah. used. Um, so yeah, I wish I'd have bought them a few years ago. <laughs> a whole a whole lineup of them. I sell them and make some money. I'm just having a look at the email from Aura about the Aura Cat. Um, start of March for a non UK spec vehicle, and then host first official drives in the UK later in the year. Interesting stuff. I mean, did it? Uh, in China, have they got a whole lineup of you know different models, or is it just? I believe the Oracat's been out for like four years. Do they make other vehicles it, as in, well? Uh, I think it was a Great Wall or something. Maybe. So yeah, it's just a modified Chinese car. Yeah, yeah brought yeah. over. Um, which again, that sounds like oh, I don't know. But every time we get an MG, yeah, yeah, like Paul, you know what? Paul for Star. what you're paying for this, two. <laughs> yeah, for what you're paying for this, I just cannot fault it. And this and and that's like manufactured in China, designed in well, China. Look at the new ZS. It's, not, it's not like a European one. The new ZS, it, it looks amazing. Yeah. The quality inside. Vehicle is amazing. to load. Yeah, eventually. Uh, yeah, yeah. And the the facelift uh, <coughs> five as well. That's coming out in October. I mean, that looks. I mean, they have basically gone. What does every European car look like? Yeah, yeah. Right. Let's just put them all together and what yeah, we got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in terms of it looking <coughs> like a, a a modern vehicle, it's it's it's, it's great, isn't it? So. We're reliant on the Chinese because all... The, oh, is, is there going to be a, a blowback from this in terms of all done? the major manufacturers, the European ones, the American ones, are just producing their big high from Stellantis. Stuff, apart from them. It's going to be a very... I mean, it's, it, Is it going to be that... The Enyaq? In three or four years' time, is it just via this happening? Is that Volkswagen are doing just the upper end stuff and Stellantis just take over the uh, lower end of the market? Just by the lack of choice. Yeah, exactly. Just by going, well... And the cars that are sold today is what you'll be buying on the used market in two, three, four years' time. Yeah. Which yeah. essentially means it's a Corsa. An MG. It's a 208. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, Fiat 500. I mean, we, 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 we've literally been looking into this. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. <clears throat> and even if you ignored all the, it'd be nice to have some hot hatchy mini, electric yeah, style yeah. It's just a complete, 
You know, normally you'd have like, well, I've got 10 cars to think about here. We've got, what, two? Two, three? yeah, 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 yeah. And it's, yeah, it really is, isn't it? It's lack of options. Mm-hmm. And it should be the opposite now because we've got so many cars coming out, they're just all at the higher end. What's, what's a Honda E going for? Do they still, still sell a Honda oh, E? Jesus, have you seen the use price of the Honda E? I, I, I saw them <laughs> drive past over there and I'm like, oh, like, they do look nice. It's, yeah, it's rare to see one. Very mm. rare. There is, there is one where we live. Is there? I've seen it a few times, yeah. I'm just going to have a look now. So I'm on an auto trader and I'm going to look for. Not. It's like half better color. Humber? Honda, Honda. Honda, Honda. It's, it's, that, it's the madness uh, when they did the Honda City. Uh, the, is it Honda E Electric, is it? There we go, Honda E. Right, so they're only 60 for sale in, on Auto Trader. I'll do it by cheapest price first. And the cheapest Honda E is 27 and a half grand and it's two years old. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you could buy one new for that a, couple, a year or so ago, couldn't you? Is that, I mean, which spec is that? Because they came in two trims, didn't they? That is... That is the, like, <coughs> that's the one you'd want. It's got the 150 brake on it, hasn't it? Uh, did it seem to have model? Oh, they do. oh no. no that, yeah, that's the Advance. Yes, yeah, so it comes with the... But they're all essentially the same in terms of speed and battery size. There's two different engine sizes, isn't there? In terms of, well, output. Is there a 130 and a 150? I think you might be right, actually. Oh, yeah, 154 PS... I think there's one uh, slightly less. One as further well. upside, about hundred. Yeah, yeah. So, well, even if it wasn't, it, 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 you're looking at twenty-seven and, and a half grand for wow. a used car. Which, saying that though, to be fair, it, the, the electric well, it just means you're going to get it back at the other the end. The electric mini is no different. No, it, you, you're paying a lot of money for one of them. Oh, which one would I have? And now let's. I know. I know it's completely different, but I guarantee if I look at Vauxhall Corsa E. There's going to be tons of them. Oh, yeah. And I don't just mean... Uh, Better range. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't just mean on the used market. So I have to do it by fuel type, electric. <clears throat> I'll put brand new only. See what comes up. Search. Is that searched? No. Not yet. Not new. There we go. So the cheapest brand new Corsa E at the moment. Wow, 25 grand. That's for a Nav Premium. Yeah, yeah. I've seen them go for 21 and a half brand new. Wow. Uh, about a year and a bit ago. Wow. So it just goes to show, doesn't it? I mean, it could be just time of year, but... I wonder if you're going to get any uh, towards the end of August. You mm. have, uh... <coughs> Saying that, I don't think there'll be that thing of dealers trying to make their... Well, if that... Because if you can't buy the vehicle, what? you can't register it to sell it on cheap. Nope. Fiat 500? Cheapest Fiat 500. This is the smallest batch of version. 21 and a half thousand pounds. That's what it's yeah. But if we go for the uh, 40 kilowatt hour version, there you go, 25 and a half grand. Wow. Brand new one. Which isn't bad. No. For an electric vehicle. And I would have one. It would have been a nice drive, wouldn't it? Mm. But um, the thing is, though, if I was getting one, it'd have to be new because I'd want the seat to go up and down. <laughs> That's the only thing. Do you remember? Yeah. The seat was quite high up, wasn't it? Yeah, you couldn't. Yeah, yeah. But that just shows you that it's difficult. Yeah, an EV, not just for the prices. But again, we, 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 we have to kind of, again, tail spun into uh, complaining that things are too expensive and blah, oh, blah, getting blah. old. Yeah, in <laughs> my day. You get 10 cars for that. 10 cars, you would. Um, but considering, so used values have gone up, I would say, at least 10 to 15% for electric vehicles over the last 12 months, minimum. I would say that would be between 10 and 20%. So that means... Because you're paying basically the same for a used one as a new one for most cars at the moment. There well, is no used market the, for most of these. e Nero. So I, I was yeah. looking at an e Nero, uh, first <coughs> edition, because I thought, well, if I'm going to get one, get one with all the bells and whistles. Mm. And I can get one of them that's three years old, 30,000 mile on the clock, between 30 and 34,000 pounds. Ouch. I just kicked myself that I didn't buy one three years ago. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Be some free motor in there. Here we go, Kia E Nero. Let me put the battery range so it's a bigger battery version. So the cheapest E Nero used, uh, that's not category S, uh, 31 and a half grand, and that is a first edition, which I think is more than it was new. And yeah, that's yeah, three were, years old. Were they around 30,000 pounds? A shame. 30, 32, something yeah. like that. Uh, and that's three years old now. Wow. So that car's basically lost almost nothing. But that's the cheapest one. The next one up is 32 and a half. 32, yeah. And that's the 2019 Kia Nero. So basically, they've owned it for three years and they're getting the money back. Yeah, well, yeah. And they've, they've put 22,000, 23,000 miles on the clock. <laughs> it is absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? 
That's wow. all. Cheapest Kia Soul, £33,000. It's a year old. Less I, I do like stereo. them. I do. I just prefer the drive of the, of the e yeah I, yeah, I do. <clears throat> but, well, yeah. Wow. It just goes to show, doesn't it, just how much stuff has gone up. And obviously people are buying them. Well, you know, well, my my fear, if you will, when it's like, all right, let, let's imagine I sell the Tesla, or it, you know, let's it, it, someone writes it off. Yeah, then you're your ass stuck, aren't you? What do you do? What do I do? Because yeah. even if I wanted another Model Three and you I got all to... my money back, I can't get one for six months. Well, yeah, yeah. In fact, and you it's gone one. up to forty six grand now. I paid forty and a half. Have you got gap insurance? Uh, no. But saying that your car be worth more now anyway because if you crashed it and <laughs> yeah, so it's forty six grand. Wow, <clears throat> that's gone up. A... But have you noticed that the putting it with metallic oh, paint right, stand? Okay. So if you put it down to the cheapest paint, the free one, with the small wheels, and they're giving you fifteen hundred quid wheels. I just want the cheap one, free wheels, yep. please. Um, <clears throat> nothing else, and that means I'm gonna have to wait until May. Wow. Next year. A, a, a year. Yeah, so, yeah, May 2023. Yeah. Over a year for a Model 3, standard range plus. For my car, again, basically. Wow. A and year. That's, what's £46,000? £46,000. Which, ironically, at the moment, is 55 for the long range, and I think it's still the same price, because I know someone that's just ordered a Model Y uh, over the last few days. Let's have a look at the order. Uh, and if that, I'm, I'm expecting Model Y to go up. It has to do. It has to do, so It's yeah. the same price as uh, that, but if you don't want the £2,000 wheels, you're going to have to wait until September. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I wonder why... I think because they've made a ton of Model Y. So as soon as that allotment of September Model Ys has it's gone out, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, price yeah. has to go up. Yeah. Hmm. So in terms of buying a new vehicle then, if you can afford a Model Y, that's probably the quickest way into a new electric vehicle at the moment. Yeah, because <clears throat> I know you can buy a used car and get in it straight away, but yeah. I, I don't like the fact that I know I'm paying over the odds for that thing. Yeah, that's the thing that, that that's that's bugging me, um, is that I'm paying more for something that's three years old. And it's only going to go down. It might take a couple yeah. of years, but it is going to go. It, it's, it's going to be a yeah. drop at some point. So what you're doing, it's, it's that thing of, uh, <clears throat> of uh, buying a house before the market crashes. Yeah. You're buying it at the, at the most expensive it's going to be. For me, it's like, well, either you know, you, you buy a lower priced house or a lower priced car, um, but there isn't any. <laughs> the, the only way to get a reasonable deal at the moment is effectively to wait 12 to 18 months. Isn't yeah, it? that's about it. Well, an unsure 12 to 18 months as well, isn't it? It's so we can uh, we can buy and then oh, that's the petrol one, uh, excuse me. In fact, are they even still selling it? I bet they're not. It's drive a deal, isn't it? Oh, right. Then there's no E up on drive the deal. Okay, ID. So they pulled it. ID three. There's one version, the Life Pro Perform, fifty eight kilowatt hour battery size. It's going to be thirty grand, isn't it? I know someone who ordered two of these, and I've said this before for twenty three and a half thousand pounds wow. from this very place, with no options. So let's see what they're going for at the moment. Whoa! Whoa. 33,500 pounds. That's 10 grand dearer yeah. than a the, year ago yeah. from that the same is place. Ridiculous. Ha! He could sell them, he could sell these now and make a fortune. Yeah, you could, you could sell them for at least that, maybe 35 grand a piece if he, when he gets uh-huh. them. Wow. That just shows you what demand does, doesn't it? Yeah. This is 23, this. 24 grand they were knocking them out and now 33,500 from the same place. That's it's just that's Holy just ridiculous. moly. Wow. So therefore, the problem we have in getting into vehicles is there's too many big ones, not enough little ones. <laughs> yeah. I, I bet there's very few. I'm just going back to auto trader now. Ooh. And if I got a brand new, none. None. Okay, let's have a look at... Um, so near enough new. The cheapest ID3 on auto trader is just a shade under £30,000. Well, we'll look at the mileage pounds. on that. Got 54,000 miles on it. Look at the one further up, the one up from that. That's more realistic, isn't it? So that's a year that's old. That's an advert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a year Maybe. old. It's ten, yeah, I'm saying it's a year old, 10,000 on the clock. <coughs> yep. And that is 34? Was it 34? Well, you can get that one for 33 and a half. It's done 16,000 miles and it's a year old. No, 70 reg. So it's... Does it come with the uh, armrests? <laughs> I wouldn't get an ID3 that didn't. No, I, 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 basically that's all I'm buying it for. But the cheapest ID3s are basically 33 grand upwards. For any model. Uh, yeah. 
£33,000. That is meant to be the next golf. Yeah. Well, yeah. Someone's just flipping one there, aren't they? Look at that. 34,200, 34, sorry. Yep. 2,000 ridge. Clock. So that'd be... 71 reg, that's... But you 2022. Yeah, so that's that's a year at some point, isn't it? So it's about three or four months old, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's the 45 kilowatt hour version as well. Wow. £34,000. That's somebody who's got one and gone, God, do you know how much he's going for? <laughs> well, yeah, probably. They probably ordered it a year ago, got okay. it, and thinking I can make a few grand here. Why not? And then they're going to go on the market and think, right, I've got a few grand profit, what shall I buy? Oh, no, everything else has gone up Just as well. Buy cheap petrol really around. <clears throat> yeah. So... I don't think you can actually even order an e up at the moment. If I bought an ID three a year ago and I paid twenty three for it and I got it delivered, I would sell it. Yeah, because you'd be making ten grand. seven and eight, nine, ten grand. Yeah, up ten grand. <laughs> you'd, you'd be you'd be you'd be wrong not to. Well, yeah. Or would you keep it a year and still probably get eight or nine grand off? <laughs> well, there's that option as well. Because you don't, so so go back to the point of where you're looking for an EV. Mm. So what, where, 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 where are we up to at the moment when we're looking for an EV? Well, it's just it's that thing of looking and going, you know what it is? it's looking and being disheartened because mm. I'm a Yorkshireman uh-huh. and I am, I won't say tight, but I'm, I'm, I'd, I'd like a reasonable return for what I'm getting. The, the, the reason why I'm, we've got nice things is because we're careful with money. Yeah. And okay. when, I, when I'm looking at paying more than what something was new <clears throat> and three, three years later, I'm going, mm, it's not a good time, not a good time. I mean, it may be that a cracking deal comes along or... I think there's only one car I can think of that used doesn't seem to be commanding a massive premium at the moment, and that is the Fiat 500. Well, yeah. It's that's a small battery version, is it? Uh, that is, yeah. But even then, <coughs> they seem to be going for a similar price to the one yeah. a year ago. I mean, and the, and the nice thing about that is, it, 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 yeah, it, it was incredible. It was fun, for starters, and mm. it was uh, it was efficient. For me, that's something with an electric vehicle. It, it needs to be efficient as well. Yeah. So you're looking at twenty five grand. I've one in that in that <coughs> flip paint, that ocean colour. Yeah, I bet you don't get much of a choice at the moment. No. Uh, oh, well, if you're going to buy one, buy this one. It includes the first year road tax. That's amazing, is that? I wonder if they give you a full fuel, uh, tank of fuel. Though. I think they do. Yeah. yeah. Inclu- wow. Includes an oil service. <laughs> Surprise me. There you go. There's a blue one. Twenty four. Oh, it's a smaller battery version. So, yeah. so essentially, we. A year ago, could have got an E up for 19, 18, 19 grand to yeah. have the deal. Yeah. And now you're looking at 22, 23 That's minimum nice. for anything. Yeah. And it's that, isn't it? it? But it's not a case of everything's gone up and that's just what you're going to have to pay. It's still a good price for today. It's not. It's it's that thing as well, <clears> looking <throat> at it and going, a thing's going to go up even more. I mean, that you might, we might be looking now and going, oh, well, 25 grand for a Fiat 500. In a year's time, they might be 26, 27. New, yeah. It's, it's that thing of going, how much further up is it going to go before it drops? <laughs> it's almost like stocks and shares, isn't it? But with cars, you want to you want to, you want to jump on at the right time, don't you? <laughs> I mean, this advert says everything, doesn't it? 23,834 for a Fiat 500 smaller battery version. Mm-hmm. Brand new. But don't worry, that's a discount because the RAP, RRP is 23,835. There's a quid. Save a quid, yeah. One pound discount. Well, that's amazing, yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much. Well, I went on to Car Wow, wow. Uh, to put a Mini in, and the the offers I came back were all RRP. Just, just, yeah, yeah no there deal. was not, and there was only like a, a handful. I mean, I bought, the last car I bought on Car Wow was a Fiesta ST2, and there must have been 50 dealers bidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah desperate to get it. With this, it was about three or four, and it were all the same price. Um, so essentially, there is no good anything right now in the EV world I think it's, it's do you know what it is it's sticking it not twisting at the moment you're sticking sticking with your hand and just seeing seeing what will happen but for someone that wants an EV or someone that has to replace an EV that's been written off you you're kind you, of screwed, screwed right? yeah, yeah cheap diesel <laughs> you know what that's <laughs> the only option well my mum my <coughs> got a Toyota Yaris I think it is 1.4 uh Turbo diesel, and she gets sixty five to the gallon regularly on that. I mean, I know it's, I know it's a Is diesel. It not a self charging one. Uh, no, it doesn't self charge. Oh. No, no, it self pollutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I. But she was she was going. Wow. Oh, well, well, if I get an electric car, like mum, mum, just keep this until it falls to because, pieces. Because that's a small economical car. It will probably be worth more than it was. Well, she paid two grand for it seven years ago. 
And I'm sure you'll get that now. Yeah. If, if you're know, fully MOT'd, yeah, 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 easy to yeah, get yeah, that back. Easy, yeah. I mean, it's a bit... A couple of car park dings here and there. But, mm, a bit of yeah. teacup. <laughs> you know what? It... it, it I, I don't think I'll ever be in that stage again, but it'd be nice to own a car that I didn't... I, I won't say didn't care about, but if it got dinged, it wouldn't bother me as much. Yeah, you know when yeah. you, you got your first cars and you think, oh, well, it's already got scratches on yeah, it and yeah. dinged, so if it happens again, I'm not too concerned, really. Well, it's almost worth... I think it's when you, if you get a new vehicle, as soon as you get it out of the dealers, just curb it, curb it that way. <laughs> yeah. Get it out of the way. <clears throat> yeah, because when you do it for the first time, you kick yourself. Yeah, right? yeah, just you know, get, the, get the postman just to drag his bag down the side of it. <laughs> So, so we're back to that, I guess, fevs. Yep. Just because they are going there's, down. And there's a lot more fevs on the market. A lot more. It's that thing, isn't it? I guess if, if, you, if your average journey is around 15 to 20 miles and you can plug in when you get to work and that sort of mm. stuff, a fev's not a bad a bad deal, really. There's just not many exciting fevs out there. 330E. Yeah. In fact, the only one I could muster up uh, to go and look at when I was looking. You know, if I a countryman... <clears throat> Although, to be honest, even in Fed World, they're about 20 old grand. Yeah. <laughs> there was the, I'll tell you what as well, the um, Golf uh, GTE. Mm. They look reasonably interesting. Yes. And solid. Seem to hold, hold but when it's the same price as a 330e BMW, yeah. it is. So, if it, so, so you're going to have to get a Corsa, I'm afraid. A Corsa E. Corsa E. Can, can I put the badge? Can I put an SRI badge on the back? <laughs> GTE. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Red top. Red top. Yeah, yeah. Do a swap engine swap. So. So we started off. Does size about matter? The size. Of <laughs> yeah. And then we ended up going back to the usual thing of the current state of the used market. Of yeah, which is, which is, it's <clears throat> there isn't one. Do you know what? We keep going there, don't we? Because I guess it's a. A current subject for us, and we've got to spend a lot of time looking. Well, there isn't one, is there? And there, there isn't, isn't no, a huge market. Really no. I mean, if someone said to me, I've got 20 odd grand to spend, what would you recommend? I want an electric vehicle. It's like, oh, that, that's it's not You're not really, really going to get you, you, what, you, <laughs> you're going to be looking at a Zoe, yep. But even they've gone up. i3, used i3, I guess, is the only thing. No, not new, you're not going to get anything new i for 20, but yeah, it'd be a, a Zoe. I three. You might get a new lower battery ZS. <laughs> yeah. If you're lucky, the old shit. MG five. Well, yeah. But then that's a bigger stick. Leaf. Uh, you won't get new, will you? But you're getting. I don't know. You might do. Might do. But you got Chadmore. Yeah. There's always that compromise. You think it's just not worth it. It's, it's not. No. Not. not so I'll wait another year, and it's not going to be any better in a year, is it? Well. I, I I don't think so. No, the used market is not going. Well, no. no, there's no, no new cars buying. coming to the market. So. You think, if you're going to buy a car now, it's going to take a year to come. Therefore, people aren't buying cars, so there's nothing coming a year. No, they, they, you know, there's, there's uh, if anything, it's empty boats. <laughs> in, in two or three years, we're going to hit this lull of new cars, aren't we? You know, because yeah. they say like three years after a car comes out, that's when the lease yeah, is yeah, expire yeah, yeah. and. Uh, well, I, just, just just thinking about it, the new uh, registration plates. I haven't seen that many. No, they're all Model Ys. Yeah, yeah. ironically, yeah. Every Model Y I see, I'm going, oh, yeah, it's a 22. 22. But I haven't seen that many 22s. Which means in two or three years' time, At the there's going to be a lull, an even bigger lull of used cars on the market because there are no, no one's buying new ones. Well, the people that can Scar. afford to get on the Model Y platform <clears> now, <throat> in three years' time, are going to be selling them for a profit. Or at least what they were. What they were, yeah. What because the Model Y has to go up. There's no way they can carry on selling the Model Y for the same price as the Long yeah, Range yeah, 3. Yeah. No, it's... That's not, just not the case of once the allotment's of, gone, not for me. Not unless the manufacturing of it is cheaper because they've, they've changed the tooling or something like that. Or... Possibly, but then you'd think the Model 3 would follow suit. <clears throat> you'd think, yeah. yeah. It's the same car, but bigger. Is it... Is it is, yeah... Who knows? Yeah. We'll see. They can easily charge more for it, but they're not. It's got to be something waiting. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, the Model 3 is two years old now, just over. I'm going to have to think... I'm not, but if I were thinking about replacing it, I'd have to do it now. What would you, the thing is, what would you replace it with? Another Model 3? Well, if I want another Model 3, I have to wait till May. May, yeah. Next year already, before yeah, I can yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> I, think the, I think, yeah. I mean, there's the sensible thing to do is to stick, isn't it? Wait until the Model 3 has a major midlife facelift. I think, yeah. And then buy that. Or the Tesla Supercharger network opens up. 
And then buy and you can you get want. anything you like. Yeah, then what'd you go for? Well, it'd be out of my price bracket, but an i4 would be my current kind of... Yeah. That'd be a nice. Topper. <clears throat> sort of BMW. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe we're doing it the wrong way around. We should get an E up for work, and the, ex, the more expensive car should be the convertible. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Do, 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 <laughs> get an i8. Well, in that case, you should 40 just get, grand i8. Just get a cheap Zoe. Hmm? Cheap Zoe. If most of your miles, if most of your journeys are under 100 miles. Cheap Zoe. Well, yeah. They're starting at seven say, grand yeah, yeah. for, they, they were five grand two years yeah. ago. Yeah. But at least you get your, uh, then you've got to pay for your battery as well on top. Hmm? Right, so on that depressing conclusion. Yeah. You're screwed. Yeah. So Anybody if you haven't got into EVs already, <coughs> then you're probably not going to do for a little while. And it's only going to get worse for other green things. Every yeah. single, I know, I know a solar panel installer and they're desperate for installers, as in, as in yeah, people, people who can, can physically it. go yeah. and do it for them. And most of them, uh, in fact, my brother contacted 13, I think he said, 13 different solar installers for a quote. Yeah. Not one of them has got back to him. Wow. Because the, the, the ones he has spoken to has basically said, I'm not even going to bother giving you a quote because I can't book for this year. Wow. <laughs> and that'll be the same probably with batteries installers, solar installers. So what you're saying is, is that we should get into fitting solar equipment. Yeah, well, I, I had a platform built yesterday yeah, yeah. for something that's coming to the house. Ooh. Uh, and the, 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 the builder that did it, he, I think he's building a house at the moment. Uh, and he said that uh, a company he works with quite often, <clears throat> quite a large one, they're paying £1,100 a week to labourers. Oh, yeah, well, I, I, yeah. To labourers, yeah. just to labour. I mean, don't get me wrong, you've been doing 100 hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. But £1,100 a week yeah. to a labourer, which logically is the, the first run of the ladder in the building site. Oh, yeah, well, I, yeah, it's the same thing again. I saw uh, a friend of a friend advertising on Facebook. He owns a building company. Uh, and for a labourer and this was how much money you get in your pocket each week and yeah. that's more than I earned I've been doing my career for over 20 years yeah. 25 years <laughs> since I was 16 so what's going to happen is we're going to get a load of people who think they can install let's say heat pumps or solar yeah, panels and do a and terrible job of it so and also probably a lot of people moving out of IT to labour yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm thinking of changing career. Well, what are you thinking? I just want to be a labourer now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a fortune. And when I go home, I don't think about my job. Yeah. <laughs> it's like American beauty. Yeah. I just want to flip burgers. Yeah, that's it, yeah. So, well, I guess your uh, EV mission continues. It does. doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere, if I'm honest. It's on the back burner. I've got the pilot light on. <laughs> <laughs> Is, I guess it's one of those in it where you have to, if an opportunity comes up, you just have to take it there and then. As in that day, it pretty much is with stuff. I mean, the the the, <coughs> the, the cars you see that there was a, an i three S for sale in Ilkley, which isn't too far from where we are, mm -hmm. and it was it was being sold privately, and it was two grand under, and that was gone the next day. Wow! And I can guarantee a car dealerships bought that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And just gone. Oh, brilliant. Go and pick that up on Monday, yeah. will you? Stick a few grand on it, tell yeah. me. Yeah. Well, on that depressing note, as you say, yeah. uh, we've waffled on <laughs> for well over an hour uh, on this, which is then going to go sometime in the next hour or two. Yeah. Um, Let's so if you're listening to this on Sunday, it's come out the 24th of April. Hello! <laughs> this is current us. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're both live. <clears throat> yes, and uh, hopefully we'll have time in the. Uh, for, well, what's their first class? In the airport lounge to... Or, or maybe in the airport in... Or oh, in the hotel. In the hotel in Frankfurt mm. um, to create more podcasts so we don't have to do it oh. at the last minute next Sunday. Is it worth saying that uh, we're off to... Fully charged? Charge at the weekend. So Which, if you do see us, don't yeah. come and say hello. We're far too busy. No, do come say hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by all means. Uh, in fact, why don't we give them something to say so we know they've got it from the podcast? No, no, to, to wear. To wear like a... <laughs> like a rosette. Yeah. So if you see us at Fully Charged and you listen to the podcast, what should we get into? Oh, so it has to be something Red Dwarf based. <laughs> Fitting in a little bit with... Uh... Have to come and kiss Harry on the cheek. <laughs> I'm just, I, I've just had COVID, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. 
you know, just just come Gaspacho and say your soup. Yeah, yeah, you go. No one's going to ever come up and say that. <laughs> so if, if someone comes up and says gazpacho soup fully charged, then you won't get anything for get it. High five. You'll get a high five. Yeah, COVID five. Um, but yeah, we'll be there on the Saturday only, though. I think. Yeah, we'll be there Saturday because we're coming back from an international flight uh, a, on the Thursday. Amazing lifestyle we have. <laughs> We've had to take two days off work to do it. I mean, the thing is, is that, <laughs> it's that thing of you explain it, explain to a few people what's happening in the course of next week, and it's like, wow, no, 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 that's everything from the year. Yeah, yeah. In, in one go. In one go. We're flying out, driving a car for a few hours, having a meal with the people that are from the manufacturer. Then the next day, we might have the car for an hour or two. Then I'm going home. We're flying straight back again. Yep. Flying home, flying home, driving home, sleeping. Work. Going back to work the next day is normal. And then driving yeah. then on Friday. In fact, yeah, work. yeah. In fact, after work that day, yeah, we're driving down south to fully charge. Yeah. Doing fully charge and driving back on the Saturday. Yeah. On our um, uh, low carbon channel. Uh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're driving down in an EV to fully charge, if that helps. We'll ask if they'll offset <clears> the uh, CO2 for the flight. That might be quite an interesting question to ask. Ah, the... uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure they'll do that. <laughs> Anyway, okay. thank should you very we, much. Should we, should we stop and um, uh, we'll, we'll try and get a few ahead of ourselves again? So we'll yeah, have... we'll try and get a couple done this week. Yeah, and, and if you've got any um, subjects you want us to cover, please, for the love of God, give us Please one. give us, yeah, yeah. Please, please, please. I think we need to uh, it doesn't have write to be, a few it, things down. Yeah, any, anything related. Well, it doesn't even have to be car related. No, we'll probably bring it round to cars. Though. It's we will do, yeah, because that's ultimately... Yeah. <laughs> energy, maybe we should do a green energy green thing energy, next time. Green energy, yeah. We'll think of something. We sort of did that a little bit, didn't we? The, we've got the cost of batteries if we could... Yeah, well, uh, essentially we'll be saying, you know, batteries and solar panels can save you money, but you're going to have to wait a year until you can at least get one. <laughs> or a quote for one. Yeah, yeah. Which means the prices are then... I know the installers are, are wanting more from the companies that are paying them. So that must mean the price of solar. Well... Got, who wouldn't when they're in solar demand? Well, yeah, exactly. Price will go up. Just, just what happens, it's supply and demand. Yep. Right, um, so... Uh, and, and word of the podcast is... Oh, don't put me on this. Uh, Go on. I'm going to press the button. Pickles. <laughs>